Thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is the 5 Flutter Visual Studio Code extensions that helped me in my Flutter developer experience. Extensions help developers to code faster and automate the boring stuff for us so we can put our effort and time into solving problems and not make them. Side note, these extensions that I'm sharing are specifically for Flutter development, not overall programming. However, there are tons of articles and videos on VS Code extensions, you can literally Google them. So let's get started. The first Flutter extension that I want to share is PubSpec Assist. This extension helps you to add the latest version of a dependency below the latest dependency. If I were to download a freezed dependency, I will go to my command shortcut, so command shift P, and then I will type in pub spec assist, and I can search the freezed package. And this will show me the dependency that is found inside the pub dev website. As you can see, the freezed dependency has been added after the latest dependency. One thing to take note is that it is not smart enough to know that this freezed package is to be downloaded under our dev dependency. I find this extension very helpful because I'm able to add my dependency without going to the pub dev website and it saves a lot of time. So once you have downloaded the latest version of a dependency, how do you check the other dependency have the latest version? Well, there is this extension called version lens. This will show the latest version for each package and they have a line above each package to see whether it satisfies the latest version of the dependency. If I were to go to the PubSpec YAML and I click this big V, you could see that there is a statement that says satisfy 0 0.10.8 plus 1 for the video player. That means this is the latest version. If I were to put this as 7, you could see there's an arrow that's pointing up. This is basically a code lens that helps us to update our version number. Even though it replaces the version text, it does not help us save the file. So we have to manually save the file in order for us to download the dependency. With this upgrade, you want to start building your app. With this upgrade, you want to start building your app. And it could be troublesome to start building as you have a lot of widgets wrapped in a column or row or multiple child widget. However, why not use Flutter Tree? So Flutter Tree helps create, you guessed it, your widget tree in one line. An example is that you have a login form that you need to create. So in order for you to do that, you typically need to add widget in a form widget, then a column, then some empty sized box and two text form field, another sized box and a row with a text, spacer and button. So creating the UI widgets might take some time. Therefore, Flutter Tree helps that by just having all the widgets in one line. So once you have created the widget tree, now you want to add some data class to fill up the skeleton of your app. That's where dot data class generator comes in. You can create a normal class and type in the properties that you have and you right click to create a generated class with some override methods. You have the flexibility to change or add the methods that you have been created for you. So in your login page, maybe you want to create a user class. So inside the user class, you have the name property and the ID property. By opening up the shortcut key, you could see the generate data class. And this help you create the method copy with, to map, from map, to JSON, from JSON, to string, the equal equal parameter, and the hash code. And the thing is sometimes other developers create their classes differently where they have their constructor at the second line, their properties at the top. So how are you going to organize the different data classes format into one unionized or consistent format? 
So there is this extension called Flutter Stylizer, which helps you organize your Flutter classes in a consistent manner. In order for you to use the Flutter Stylizer, you have to go to the keyboard shortcuts, Flutter Stylizer, and you have to bind it accordingly. So I put FS because it's Flutter and Stylizer. So your class has different methods and properties and override methods. One thing I like about the reason is that in large projects, it's good to follow a consistent and opinionated style. So this brings new developers in teams with a large code base for them to navigate and understand. So if I type in command F S, this will style the user class where its constructor is on top, the property and the different override methods over here with the newly constructed methods and lastly the getter and setters. And that's it. These shortcuts will help you to import and maintain your dependency and helps create your widget tree and Dart classes with a consistent style. If you have noticed, I do not input any snippets in this extension list is because I'm not a fan of it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more on this video. If I miss out any Flutter extensions other than snippets, comment down below. So stay safe and bye. Bye.